This is Kathy Marshall with 12-Step Roadmap Training. Uh, today, now we're going to show you how to create a YouTube channel for your company. It's very, very straightforward. We just got through showing you how to utilize the, all the benefits of a Google Plus account. Next, all we're going to do is go simply to the YouTube channel for this Google Plus account. It's really straightforward. All you need to do is just click on the nine little button area here in the upper right area and we're going to click on YouTube. One step that we did do is we created the channel by selecting the name. We're going to show you how you can actually change a personal account to a different name. You're going to click on this little button just to the right of this uh, right square picture that we have. And now you're going to see everything is opened up and you'll see how YouTube and the Google account are all kind of tied together. First of all, what we're going to do is we're just going to go and we're going to look at the channel first. The channel here does have the profile picture that was set up earlier when we were setting up the Google Plus account. Next, what I would like to do is we're going to create this channel art. Now, we already have this pre-created and I will tell you this is not that easy to make because if you add channel art you're going to see that the recommended channel size is 2560 pixels in width and 1440 pixels in height and that's a little bit of a rel relatively big picture and cropped in a certain fashion so little difficult to make this if you do need some help don't hesitate to reach out to us at 12 step roadmap and request a meeting and we can definitely hook you up in the right solution uh, to help you with this. But we do have some preloaded things. We're going to go ahead and, and select that picture and show you how easy that you can actually upload these. So take a brief moment. It's really important that you pick the right size because this is going to be fitting and showing on desktops, TVs, and even mobile devices. So you can, if you need to adjust the crop, you can do something like that. For me, I'm going to leave ours just like it is, and we're going to go ahead and select it. It will take a moment to save, and then we're ready to go. All right. So the next step here is if you would like uh, to uh, add some channel setup checklist, you can add some web links, which here you'll see there's a Google Plus, but if you wanted to add a web link, you can let the viewers know what else you want to do by, by adding things to the About tab. And you can actually do a channel description. You can add some leads, links. You can also feature some other uh, channels. So you could do something like add a link here and actually open it up and it allows you to add uh, some different social links uh, and different things. So you can actually add, overlay the first link on channel art and you can actually limit this. So the link title could be something like 12-step um, road map training. And then we'll type in a URL over here. And you can click when you're done. Fantastic. And this is, gives, allows you to be able to have a clickable link on your channel art. I wouldn't recommend adding a whole bunch of things, but obviously uh, you, you can actually do this. This gives you the capability of actually describing your channel and also adding feature other channels. You know, you can have multiple channels in a one account. So this is, would be a cool feature if you have several companies uh, within a bigger company. So th these are all some very, very, very helpful things. We have a couple more things to do for setup. So what we want to do is click on this button here and we're going to actually go, and we've already done the channel, we're not going to talk about Video Manager, but when you first get started Video Manager, 
Right now there's no videos, but it's first going to say create your channel. You'll click on that and then it will select the name that you actually set up this channel for. But we're actually going to change this. We're going to actually make a little difference here. So we're going to go back to our button here. And we're actually going to go to the section called YouTube Settings. And this is where the fun begins. Okay, so we could definitely um, edit a lot of this information. Right now, we're using one account for YouTube. Keep in mind, if you want, you can create a new channel down here. We're going to keep this very basic uh, for, for the first time around. And what we're going to do is we are going to change this from Jennifer Bagley to the 12-step mode uh, 12-step roadmap training center and that's that's what we're going to call it so I want to go into the advanced section here and right now <clears throat> the channel is going to look like this so this is what you would have to share with people uh, for people to come to this channel so we do want to kind of clean that up a little bit right so we're going to go to create a custom URL and this is where you can actually type in what you want this to be so we're going to say 12 step and there'll be no spaces road map training and you're going to be limited on on what you can type in so we're going to call this 12 step road map train and keep in mind you have a limited characters here so you have to be really selective in what you're going to call this so we're for, for just for educational purposes, we'll call this 12-step roadmap train channel. And we're going to create our channel. And now it says with this link that you have created a custom channel URL. Your new channel URL is <clears throat> http www.youtube.com user forward slash 12-step roadmap train. And that's exactly what we wanted. So if you need to change your password, you can do this. If you have a mobile phone, this is a really cool feature. Now you'll need to um, save this in your mobile phone, like in your contacts, uh, would be the best way to do it. And what would happen is, if you're going to do a short video on site somewhere, or you're, or you're traveling, and you want to upload it automatically to YouTube, like let's just say that you're um, a, a medical company, and you're at a, a big expo and you're going to record uh, something about your product, you're going to record the event, a speaker, and you want to upload it to your YouTube channel. Well, this would be a really easy way. You, you put this email <clears throat> of YouTube as a contact, say YouTube email, in your contacts on your phone, if you have a smartphone. And then you would record your video, and then when you get ready, now keep in mind, when you're uploading videos, to YouTube, and especially from your phone, they're probably going to have to be less than a minute or two. Not, not very big. And then what you would be able to do is select that contact and you'd be able to send that email. Well, that email, it'll go to an email, but it's going to actually automatically upload your video into YouTube. Really, really cool feature. Okay, very, very good. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about some of the additional uh, features. Uh, that, that you can also do. You can view the additional features here. And there's a couple of things that you need to do uh, if you're going to verify because if you do um, want some of these additional features like the ability right now at this point we can upload videos into YouTube that are five minutes only, less than five minutes. But if you would like to do longer videos and be able to enable this what we would need to do is verify this account. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we're going to verify. And let's see here. We're going to say, call me with an automated voicemail. So let's get our phone ready. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and see if it'll set my cell phone. If you use your phone too much, it's going to make you use a secondary phone. Ah. There we go. How about one more time here? Let's see if we can use a different number here.
All right, in just a moment, we'll be getting a text. All right, <clears throat> and my Google verification is going to be 309 582. We'll go ahead and verify that, and now this account's verified. And what that did is it's going to allow us to have longer videos. Uh, we can use external annotations. Custom thumbnails are really cool. What happens whenever you record a video on YouTube? YouTube is going to automatically choose three thumbnails from that video. Those thumbnails are pictures that, that will actually show if you were to, um, for example, want to show this website, uh, excuse me, a, a YouTube video on a website, then that thumbnail would show on the website until it's played. Okay? So that can be pretty important if the thumbnails that are selected are not great pictures. So you could actually um, add a customized thumbnail to represent your video. So really, really great feature. Uh, you also can do unlisted and private videos. For example, if you have uh, um, a sales team and you need to record some training videos that are just private for their ears only, then you would be able to set your videos as private, and then you would it would be by invitation only by email, or you could do them what we call unlisted, meaning that people are not going to really find them, but they would be within your channel, but it would be kind of hidden to the public. So all of these features. Uh, can happen uh, if you can verify your account and come into this extra features area. Okay, fantastic. So let's go ahead and, and take a little brief look at <clears throat> the channel. Uh, you can see that we have channel art, we have the profile picture, and from here uh, we now are ready to go. Now if you're ready <clears throat> to upload a video, it's really straightforward. Uh, what you would do is you would go up to this very top here and just select upload. From here you'd be able to select your files. If you have a privacy issue, meaning this is a private video, you want to before you upload it you can select uh, one of the three. I tend to do everything public because we're a marketing company. We're going to select the file to upload and then you can pick your video by finding it in, in uh, your documents and it's that straightforward. Whenever you're uploading a video, there'll be some additional training uh, that's going to be done by Casey Everhart on how to optimize a video for YouTube. Again, this is Kathy Marshall with uh, Sales Supply Chain Training, and we want to thank you so much for attending the training, and we look forward to some additional trainings that will help you with your business. Thank you so much.